Hello guys, this is Vignesh. Today we are going to take a look at SDI and MDI applications. SDI means single document interfaces. So these present themselves to the user with a menu, one or more toolbars, and one window in which the user can perform some task. So when you consider multiple document interfaces, these present themselves to the user in the same way as SDI, uh, but they are capable of holding multiple open documents at one time. Um, so let us take a look at into the implementation. So open Visual Studio and I've opened it already. So go to new project uh, in Visual C Sharp, uh, select Windows Form Applications, give the application some names like uh, SDI and uh, MDI. Okay, uh, give OK. Now the form is created. Uh, now what you want to do is you just need to add a menu strip to this form so that you can perform that SDI and MDI. So when you go to toolbox, you'll find menu strip in the, uh, in the all category. So drag a menu strip and put it here. So I'll get in uh, to a text box saying type here. So in that type, so we are going to take an example of student. So student, if you click outside, you'll, the student will be created. Click on student and type some sub menus in that like add student and then delete student. Then search student. So I've given you three examples. Uh, as you can see, this is similar to something in all the applications you use. You will be having uh, something called as file, edit, view here. In this case, when you click file, you have some drop down list boxes. So this is similar to that. When I uh, run the program now, uh, you'll, you'll be given a form. So if you click student, you'll get add student, delete student, search student. So it's uh, we have to implement the, when you click uh, add student now, nothing will happen because I have not implemented the separate forms for these things. So uh, close this window and uh, to implement these forms, uh, uh, right click the project in uh, Visual Studio, uh, click add new item. So now we are going to create another uh, uh, form for this. So select Windows form and I'm going to name this as add student.cs. So add student. Okay. So now I've created this. Uh, in this, I'm going to give some of the menus for students. Let us consider some of the, some things like uh, uh, register number, name and uh, college. So and go to the toolbox, give a label here stating uh, it should be uh, add student menu. So now the, uh, the label has been created here. I'm going to change the uh, text size here. So go to font. So now the text size is given around uh, 16 or 18. So now add student. Uh, it is the heading of the form. So now let's go. Uh, let's create the other uh, things like the text boxes and the other things. So drag a label, type it as name. Just a minute, name. Okay. Now I'm just going to copy this label, paste it. Okay. So the second one will be register number and the third one will be college name okay now i've created the three labels so i'm going to drag the next the text box um text box here i'm going to copy paste it So add a button here. Okay, now the form has been created. So similarly, we'll do for the search student and delete student. Um, now again, right click here, click add new item. Windows form is selected by default. So let's give here uh, delete student. Okay, delete student zero. So we are going to search the student based on the register number and delete it. So in a, like before, we'll give a label, delete student, and uh, let's change the font size again. Somewhat 18. Okay, so now the label has been created. Now again, go to the toolbox, 
take another label now it's going to uh, into font by default so take it to text change it to register number okay similarly drag a text box here again and uh, finally add a button okay so uh, we have another option so go to add again new item so we have the last one as search student so search student now the third form is created similarly go to the toolbox drag a label type search student change its font size 18 okay now we are again going to search the student based on their uh, register number so again drag a label uh, go to text and then type um, register number okay finally drag a text box and add a button search so the all the forms have been completed uh, so now uh, go to the implementation of this form to go to the implementation select ads uh, double click on the on the part you need to implement so i'm going to implement here add student so double click on add student uh, you'll get the implementation part of this so when i click add student it should go to the corresponding form so create the object for that form add student as equal to new add student of okay there was some problem with the name add student uh, so we have changed it to the name add add.cs so when you create the object for this add a equal to new add off okay now a dot show similarly go to the form one design double click on delete student now similarly uh, delete student ds equals new delete student off so ds dot show similarly do for the search student so search student ss equal to new search student of ss dot show so i have created uh, all the links to the uh, to the menus so when i run the application when I click student, add student, the add student form opens up. Similarly, delete student, the delete student form opens up. And then give search student, the search student form opens up. So this is what you call it as a single document interface or a SDI. So uh, similarly, uh, multi-document interface is the same thing. But instead of uh, opening the add student, search student, delete student in a new window, uh, it will open the uh, the forms in the in this remaining area itself. So to uh, 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 to, uh, to achieve that go to the design form or design part select the form and in the properties of the form uh, uh, go to the is mdi container uh, option uh, it will be uh, false by default so click it and select true so when you uh, give it as true it will uh, the color of the form will be changed to some gray uh, the in the, uh, the content of the form will be changed to gray uh, now go to the uh, uh, now what you do is double click on the heading form one uh, a, a function called form one underscore load load will be created. So in that uh, type is MDI container equals true. So uh, now uh, what you want to do is go to the uh, implementation of uh, each and every menu. After a dot show off, uh, now clear give 
एम डी आई पैर आई मीन ए डॉट एम डी आई द ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट ए डॉट एम डी आई पैरेंट इक्वल्स दिस 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 मीन्स यू आर रेफरिंग टू द करंट फॉर्म एंड सिमिलरली डी एस डॉट एम डी आई पैरेंट इक्वल्स दिस Similarly, ss dot is md uh, sorry mdi parent equals. This. So now once you have given this, run the form. When you click student add student, it will be opened in the same window itself. Add student. Now when you click delete student, it will be giving delete student. Now when you click uh, search student, uh, the search student will be opened. Add student similar. So you can uh, open multiple forms in the same window instead of opening new windows. So the, uh, these are the functions of uh, uh mdi and uh, sdi uh, applications thank you guys